Hello everyone and welcome back to the Angular University. In this lesson we're going to be talking about the Angular at defer syntax which is used for partial template loading. So let's take an example. Let's say that this section of our template, our application component template, let's say that this is a heavyweight component that takes, for example, a heavy third-party PDF generation library in order to work properly. Let's also say that this part of the page is not always needed in every single user session. So ideally, this part of the template that we see here highlighted would only be loaded and shown to the user if absolutely necessary. Ideally, this code here would be loaded in a separate JavaScript bundle. So first, let's show that that is not the case. I'm going to switch here to a larger window and I'm going to open here the network dev tools. Let me clear the log and let me select here the filter JavaScript only. So we're going to refresh the application and you're going to see here in development mode. So remember, this is not production mode. You're going to see here the different JavaScript bundles that are being loaded. And if you see something slightly different when you are taking the course, don't worry, the names and the number of these bundles, the amount of bundles that are generated, tend to change over time with Angular releases. So if the names and the exact number of bundles is not exactly the same, don't worry, that's not what is important here. What is important to understand is that you see here main.js, you should have something like that in your case that contains your whole application. So this contains everything, our top menu, the course card components, the list of cards, etc. Now, going back here to our component, notice what happens if we apply here the Angular at defer syntax. And we are going to apply it here without any extra parameters. So we're going to see the full default behavior of the at defer syntax. So I move inside at defer this component, which supposedly is a heavyweight component that we want to load only if necessary. In any case, we want to load it outside of our main application bundle. So the first thing that we're going to notice is that everything is still working correctly, right? But now notice what happened if we switch again to the large window and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a clean refresh. Now notice the following here. We can see that a new JavaScript bundle was created. This JavaScript bundle is going to contain the code for this list here. So the JavaScript bundle contains everything that is inside at defer. What Angular did was it detected that there was here a defer block and the Angular compiler, the Angular CLI, the Angular build process has extracted this template here into a separate JavaScript bundle that is only going to be loaded and shown to the users under certain conditions. Now, here in this case, we didn't specify under which conditions the bundle would be loaded and displayed to the user. So in that case, at defer is going to apply the default behavior of loading the deferred JavaScript bundle when the browser is idle, meaning whenever the browser has stopped loading any resources that it needs for the page, like images, JavaScript bundles, CSS, etc. When all of that has stopped, the browser is no longer idle, and then our defer block is going to be loaded. Of course, in the case of our application, because the application is very simple, the loading of the bundle is essentially going to happen immediately after the application gets bootstrapped. But notice that this code here is no longer part of the main bundle. So if this code here would contain a third party charts or a PDF generating library, that code would be included here and not on the main application bundle. So this is how at defer works. This is how the default behavior works. By the way, I only talked about the deferred default behavior for loading the JavaScript bundle. There is also a separate behavior which is to determine when the defer block, after it has been loaded in the background, when it should be shown to the user. Those are two separate things. 
and in later sections in this course we're going to learn how to control those separately in this case the moment when the bundle is loaded and displayed to the user is one and the same it's when the browser gets idle that's the default behavior of the defer block all right so this is how this works we now understand how a defer is extracting the code into a separate bundle so now in our next sections we are going to be covering a few extra blocks that go with defer for example we're going to be covering the placeholder block the loading block and the error block that work together with defer next we're going to be talking about the different types of conditions that we can use to configure at defer to trigger its behavior such as loading code when the user scrolls down a page after a few seconds etc we are also going to learn how to build our own custom triggers so all of that is coming up in the next few lessons